four weeks ago I got into multiplayer game development and now my first game is published on Steam for free. So here we go. First I became a sponge and soak up as much information as possible just to create this. But seeing those two guys vibing together gave my small brain enough satisfaction to develop a nothing is impossible attitude which I until then only got from my second cup of coffee. So with an ego larger than universe itself I got back to work just to get slapped right back to reality when I tried to implement attacking. I had to sync animations and well they didn't sync because I'm not a sponge but that thing which is why I forgot some of the most basic things of networking. Eventually I fixed the problem and it was time to call the boys. Joint not found. <lacht> ah ja. <lacht> Entschuldigung. Ich muss jetzt neu joinen. Ja. <lacht> ich springe, warum ist da eine Laufanimation eigentlich? Ja, dann musst du nochmal optimieren. And since I'm pretty good at handling criticism, I gave them a present for a nice and constructive feedback. With that, the connection part of the game worked and we can have a look at the prototype game loop. That chest is your beloved treasure and you don't want him to get it, so better defend the walls at all costs. However, he's kinda addicted to walls and seems quite exhausted by the destruction process, which makes the game not really interesting. To change that, I coded some brain cells, but the achieved behavior doesn't put my coding skills in a very good light, so let me train him a bit more. At least he understands what he's got to do, but he's still stupid enough to think he can win. After prototyping, I created a fitting surrounding for the game and turned the enemies into rag dolls after dying, which worked perfectly fine. Oh, uh, wait, that's the wrong video. As I said, it worked perfectly fine and so did the siege weapon, which knocks on your door and kills you afterwards. My eyesight got nearly killed as well because of the current look of the game, but before I change that, let's give the hostile siege weapon a worthy opponent. This friendly ballista did its job in single player, but while playing in multiplayer mode, I wouldn't consider this ballista a worthy opponent. So I spent some more time removing those unwelcome features and at the end it worked like a charm, even though it didn't look like a charm. And that's where post-processing comes into play. The result was actually way better than I thought, but there was no time to be happy because the next problem approached with some serious destruction power. The only thing those guys care about is their hatred against prison bars and since your walls contain some bars, the bombers want to blow them up pretty badly. In combination with the other enemy types, we now have an invasion-like battle behavior and your treasure is far away from being safe. At this point the game was playable and even though it might have some bugs and the different classes weren't implemented, I thought it would be a good idea to create a Steam page. I have some experience in that topic because of my main game Project Mind, which you can wishlist while downloading Arngard Invasion. It turns out my experience wasn't enough and Steam wasn't too happy about my current version, so they gave me this to-do list and told me the earliest release date will be the 1st of December, which extended development time to nearly 4 weeks. That means more time for cool stuff after Steam is satisfied with my new, proper main menu. I even added a shop, which does nothing at the moment, but at least you can get rich already through those chests. They will spawn in the enemy camp after you defeat the goblins, but trust me, you don't want to open them alone, because oh, this hey. guy will throw you around like me or... Anyways, since it's impossible to fight against the perma knockup, I decided to implement a roll, which will make you unhittable for 0.3 seconds. Now to bring this whole thing to the next level, I added three more classes. First, the mage with his beautiful purple magic balls. Then the archer with the ability to shoot arrows without actually loading them. And while those guys seemed quite balanced, the defender got completely out of control, so I took some of his muscles away. After this change, I have to admit that the boss fight felt pretty good as defender, because now the boss is the one flying around, not you. And with that, the first two weeks were over. Looking at this masterpiece of a totally polished and bug-free game, I was kinda sad about the fact that I'm not allowed to publish it yet, so I guess it's time to add some different difficulties to the invasion. If you consider yourself a king, you will be confronted with quite some enemies, which will demolish your castle in a way you couldn't even dream of, but if you win, the reward will be great. Next, I wanted to create a simple leather, nothing fancy, but somehow I managed to f*** that up as well. Even Unreal bullied me for my bad blueprint, but after enough headache it worked. So with more than a week left, I decided to show the shop button some love and gave you the possibility to spend your beloved gold on customizing your character. 
However, simply changing colors wasn't enough for me, so I added unlockable cosmetics. All those hats are connected to a small quest you have to complete in order to unlock the item. And that's when it hit me. Why shouldn't I connect the quests with a Steam achievement to catch all the achievement hunters among you? So I turned into a sponge again and this time the achievement actually worked on the first try. Nice. Now you can unlock 10 awesome achievements and with those achievements even more cosmetics were implemented. Those four hats are included in the unlockable hats pack which will be 99 cents and the four hats plus those four skins are included in the skins and quests pack for 1 euro 99. I thought this is a great way to support me on my game dev journey just in case you have some money left and want those juicy cosmetics. Other than that, make sure to get your friends and download the game to claim as much gold as possible to duel with them or just play hide and seek as me and my friends did for quite some time. Links to Project Mind and Iron Guard Invasion are in the description as well as a link to the community discord where we might meet someday for a quick invasion. Now thanks a lot for watching and let me know if you find any bugs in the game. Have a good one.